Go Blurs! Go Blurs! <laughs> Right now at 5 o'clock, brackets busted. Loyola pulls off a shocking upset over Illinois. We have team coverage for you tonight. And parents protest why they say their kids need to be back in school five days a week. Plus a sunny Sunday for us. Pete tracks more spring weather ahead. The news at 5 starts right now. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. I'm Alex Maragos and our top story here tonight at five, a shocking upset by Loyola over top seeded Illinois today has basketball fans brackets busted, mine included. The Ramblers are once again headed to the Sweet 16 and we have team coverage tonight. Let's begin with Jeff Blanzy. Jeff. All right. Thanks a lot, Alex. Uh, I think we know the team and the best team in the uh, state right now is Loyola, the number, C, the number eight seed. They thought they didn't get much respect. Today they proved it was uh, the respect that they got. The Ramblers advanced to the Sweet 16 with a very convincing win over number one seeded Illinois. And this was a game that Loyola never trailed, ever. They defended the Illini like nobody else has all season. And Cameron Crutwig was a force inside, twisting his way to 19 points. Illinois' season ends at 24 and 7. Loyola wins 71 58, and they did it with discipline and hustle. And do, oh boy, what they've done all season. We just stuck to the game plan, really. Uh, the, what, what, no one was doing anything, you know, out of, out of their body, out of their mind. You know, we were just stuck to the game plan, what coach, coach drew up in the huddle and stuff. And, um, just a great sense of relief and, and to be do it with these guys, especially throughout this whole year, just with COVID and everything, no fans and everything like that. Just just a special moment. I don't think we really got in a, in a rhythm how we want, how we wanted to be, how we normally be. You know, like I said, you know, credit to them. They had a great game plan. They executed the um, game plan well. So, um, yeah, credit to them. Mm, wow. Hey, Leola. Loyola now awaits the winner of the Oklahoma State-Oregon State game played later tonight. And, of course, we'll have more from this game coming up a little bit later on in sports. Alex? All right, Jeff, thanks so much. Both teams, of course, have been great all year long. Fans had fun with the local matchup today. You've probably seen a lot of team colors around the city and suburbs. And those fans poured into places across the city to cheer on their team. NBC5's Lexi Suter has this part of the story. Illinois fans had some high hopes. Hopefully we get at least a few more rounds and then a championship. But instead of a championship, it's back to Champaign for the fighting Illini. Go Blurs! Go Blurs! <laughs> Loyola fans are singing a much different tune tonight. Every time they touched the ball, there was a cheer. Every time Sister Jean was on the TV, everyone was screaming. <laughs> The TVs were on in bars and restaurants across the city, and fans flocked all in on a good local game. It's fun. This is how you watch games. You know, you want to get the rivalry. You want to start giving keep people crap for their team and our team, and it's good. It's actually really cool because graduating from there, we never made the tournament, and we were awful, so we finally get to go out and, like, enjoy the game. People not just excited about this game, but about the fact that sports are back, and so are watch parties. I'm just so pumped to be experiencing this say the team hasn't been good since we were in school. Finally, finally, we've been looking forward to this for a year. A welcomed sense of normalcy, and that is a true win for both sides. The vibe here is great. Obviously, it's packed with Illinois people here with my best friends. We're having a lot of fun. It's hard to like have a community right now with quarantine and everything. So right now it kind of feels like the entire school is banding together. So we're just trying to make this as supporting like support the team as much as we can, even though we can't all be together. A lot of questions because of this upset. Will Loyola make its second Final Four run in the last four years? And how many brackets are busted because of this Illinois loss? Mike Berman has all of that coming up in sports. Reporting downtown, Lexi Suter, NBC5 News. Thanks to Lexi. Today, a man faces five attempted murder charges for